You know my feelings about Through. I think he's going to get found out. And um, if but what, what, I know, think very carefully. Listen, I'm going to ask you a question now. Right. I want you to do what you never do. I want right. you to think before you answer it. Right. Based yeah. on what we're doing at the moment. Yeah. This is for broadcast. How do you mean Louis Through is going to get found out? I just think he'll be like we'll suddenly discover that he didn't really do much. <laughs> you know what I mean. He just didn't really do much. Suddenly like, discover. Like, yeah. One morning, just, front page like, of the paper. Louis Rue didn't do anything. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. He's just been doing nothing for but ages. But you've seen him go to those places, haven't you? Uh, but he just he just rocks up and goes, um, and, and it's just like, it's... I, I, I don't I don't find it as charming as I used to when I was a, when I was a teenager. Is it because he just, started to do famous people now and that's not the point of Louis Theroux? Yes, I think it probably is. Or, or he certainly... Um, he had the audacity... To I mean, but at the end of the day, he's a man who is like who doesn't do much, doesn't do anything you would probably say is that important. In like he used to do more important stuff, he doesn't do anything important anymore, and he is backed by a limitless media corporation um, who yeah. who can sell uh, characters and personalities like your Gary Lineker's of this world quite this quite world. easily, and 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 everyone and they sort of have an unfair. I know it's Gary Lineker, but like. People like that have have an unfair advantage because they're backed by the BBC, and it's just a different. It, they're just too big, and they're not doing enough to justify yeah. it for me. I don't know. I, I, I know what you mean. And also, in like Lineker's case, obviously he's got a, he's got his own company, his production companies alongside it, and he's he's kind of mm. he's having his cake and eat it really. Mm. But but Louis Louis Theroux is someone I didn't think you'd turn tail on. I thought he'd be one of your lot forever. Quite a beta male, quite awkward. Yeah, but he's, but, he's, but, he's ve- but he's from the landed classes, so, you know, you know, you know he's pa- oh, practically the aristocracy. True, so, I think with, as I've said before, you know my feelings on that, you know, I, I'll probably get an email from someone who's a lord or a lady <laughs> saying, stop having a go at rich people, but, you know, I think... I'd love it if you did get an email from a lord or a lady. A lord or a lady. Well, there's a lot of them Is about, it a lord? apparently... Is it a lady? Apparently, you can just be given a lordship as long as you agree to be foreign secretary. <laughs> it's fine. Well, I think, he, it I, is. Think he, I think he automatically qualifies for one because he was prime minister, right? Yeah, that's you'd a, think a uh, you'd think bare minimum um, you'd, yeah. you'd be allowed to take your place up there, but... Uh, yeah, Louis Theroux's weird. dad, it was a travel writer. I think he still is alive, isn't he? I think he's mm. alive. I don't know if he's still writing, but he's alive. He wrote a mm. brilliant... Um, He's a very, very well respected travel writer. Mm. Um, so I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's like landed gentry old Louis mm. Theroux, because I think his old man was American, but but made a load of money um, writing travel books, but mostly, mm. and therefore like that's where the kind of the connection comes from. Does that make sense? Yeah. So he's not. Yeah. Like, I mean, Theroux's not from like. I don't, I don't, as far as I know, I don't think Louis Theroux's like you know Phoebe Waller Bridge or. Or mm. whatever, you know. She, he is like a kind of, you know. I suppose he's in a, in a showbiz family, I suppose. But um, my yeah, beef with it would be my beef. With <laughs> That's it, enough for me. Yeah, fine. You know me. Um, you just hate any kind of success, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hate any gen, into any. I hate any generational success. <laughs> um, can I just circle back to Louis Theroux very quickly? Because I just want to yeah. say that I think you're harsh on him. I think that some of the stuff he does is quite brave, putting right. himself out there. Mm. No, he did, a, he did a limited series recently where he was like hanging around with like, you know, violent fascists mm. and um, criminal and violent rap artists in Florida and stuff. Mm. And I think that kind of that kind of life at the fringes type style is very much what Louis Theroux is all about. And I think he's, he disarms people, particularly American people, by being the way he is. And I think that's mm. his skill. Yeah. Do we need Louis Theroux interviewing Anthony Joshua, who's probably done 400 interviews this this year? No, probably yeah, that's not. true. Actually, yeah, probably don't need his, his perspective on it, especially because he's not really. I don't know, man. He's not really. Uh, what what are we getting out of Anthony Joshua that we wouldn't get uh, otherwise? <laughs> 